The vulnerabilities that Zero Day Exploits target are never initially known to the software vendors, which makes them very difficult to defend against until a patch is developed. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the most dangerous cybersecurity threats out there, Zero Day Exploit. In the realm of cybersecurity, the term zero-day exploit has raised a lot of concern among both professionals and the general public. A zero-day exploit is basically a software vulnerability that malicious actors exploit before the software developer becomes aware of it, leaving zero days for a patch or fix. These exploits are commonly used by cyber criminals due to their potential for causing widespread damage compromising sensitive information and challenging traditional security measures. And so, in this video, we're going to be exploring all the intricacies of zero-day exploit, including their origins, characteristics, impact on cybersecurity, and the measures you can take to mitigate their risk. But before we get into that, it's worth mentioning that by far the best way to deal with such a threat and any other type of security threat is through the use of a reputable antivirus. So, if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below. So, make sure to check them out. Okay, so the term zero day stems from the fact that developers have zero days to fix the vulnerability before an attack can occur. Exploits may target various types of software, including operating systems, web browsers, and applications. The vulnerabilities that zero-day exploits target are never initially known to the software vendors, which makes them very difficult to defend against until a patch is developed. Zero-day exploits can take a bunch of different forms, such as buffer overflow attack, code injection, or privilege escalation. For example, in a buffer overflow attack, an attacker overwhelms a program's memory by inputting more data than it can handle leading to a mess of consequences that can be exploited to execute malicious code. As for code injection, it involves ensuring malicious code into a legitimate program, allowing the attacker to gain unauthorized access or control. And lastly, privilege escalation exploits take advantage of vulnerabilities that allow the attacker to gain higher levels of access than are originally intended by the system. Now, the impact of zero-day exploits on cybersecurity is very dangerous and multi-sided. Because these exploits target unknown vulnerabilities, they can get around traditional security measures including antivirus programs and intrusion detection systems. This makes them particularly dangerous as organizations may remain unaware of an ongoing breach until it is too late. One of the main concerns associated with zero-day exploits is the potential for unauthorized access to sensitive data. Attackers may exploit these vulnerabilities to gain access to confidential information, financial records, or intellectual property. And this can have severe consequences for both individuals and organizations, leading to financial losses, reputational damage, and even legal repercussions. Other than that, zero-day exploits can be used to launch large-scale attacks, such as Distributed Denial of Service Attack, or DDoS for short. By exploiting vulnerabilities in widely used software, attackers can compromise a larger number of systems at the same time, disrupting services and causing significant downtime. This not only affects the targeted organizations, but also poses a threat to the overall stability of the internet. Now, before we get into mitigation measures, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint. Instant data leak notifications with Surfshark alert. And Surfshark alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. 
The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor and let's get back to the video. Okay, so given the serious implications of zero-day exploits, cybersecurity professionals and software developers started using different strategies to mitigate the risks associated with these vulnerabilities. For example, one of these strategies involves vulnerability disclosure programs, which some security researchers and ethical hackers participate in. These programs involve responsibly reporting discovered vulnerabilities to the software vendor rather than exploiting them maliciously. This allows developers to create and release patches before the vulnerabilities are exploited by cyber criminals. Another extremely important measure would be timely and regularly updating your software. And that's because software vendors release patches and updates to fix known vulnerabilities. And organizations must have effective patch management processes in place to apply these updates quickly, which minimizes the window of opportunity for attackers to exploit the vulnerabilities. Then you have intrusion detection and prevention systems, which play a very important role in identifying and preventing zero-day exploits. By analyzing network traffic and system behavior, Intrusion detection and prevention systems can detect anomalies that point towards an ongoing attack. However, their effectiveness relies on regularly updated threat intelligence databases. Other than that, segregating networks into different segments can contain the impact of a zero-day exploit. And that's because if an attacker gains access to one segment, proper network segmentation would limit their ability to move laterally within the network trying to spread the virus which would reduce the overall damage and contain it on one machine. And lastly, many successful cyber attacks involve social engineering techniques to exploit human vulnerability. And so educating users at home or at work about the importance of strong passwords, recognizing phishing attempts, and exercising caution when clicking on links or downloading files can enhance your overall security and reduce the likelihood of successful zero-day exploit. And that's basically it for today's video on zero-day exploits. Don't forget that the most effective and efficient method to deal with zero-day exploits is to use a reputable antivirus software. So if you're looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend along with some discounts in the description down below. So make sure to check them out. Also, if you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.